Hello there. Rhino Horn 125, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the. It's more reportedly um, in the making. Um, it has not been said it was official, but I'm. It pretty much is. It might as well. I mean, if a Star Wars movie is said, it's reportedly uh, in the making and ready to be made has a script then it's definitely probably going to happen um, I would like to say definitely um, but uh, so let's just talk about it um, so don't really know what the movie is going to be called um, most likely Kenobi is the Star Wars uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi anthology movie um, it's definitely probably going to be more like a Rogue One type style movie. Um, probably beginning with uh, how that one did without saying the name of the movie and having scroll down and show what it's about. Obi-Wan is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars characters. Um, really and do enjoy his uh, smart aleck um, kind of... Eh, not really smart, but... Uh, you know, you know how he is. Um, so people uh, say he's the troll master. I think is what the um, master of trolling, which trolling is pretty much just messing with people. I'm pretty sure uh, is what that means. Um, mainly in Star Wars: Clone Wars, but in the movies as well. So yeah. So we first got to see him in Star Wars One, um, Star Wars Two, of course, and Star Wars Three. Um, I, I would have to say I do um I don't really like him either way uh any more than the other but Star Wars 1 he was more serious and you know he ha didn't really he wasn't exactly um the Obi-Wan we know um cuz he was a Padawan at the time so really uh just this is just super exciting to me um like I said I do like Obi-Wan a lot and um, it just would be not uh, very, very wonderful to see this. Uh, it will be a while, so we better not get too excited, I guess. Uh, I think what I heard was 2000, in between to 2020 or 2019, 2022 is when we will see this movie. Um, and I hope of all those dates, it's 2019 um, or 2020. So that would be just fantastic to be able to finally see Obi-Wan, um, you know, in action, in his own movie, his very own movie, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, what we last saw was, uh, Obi-Wan, um, not last saw, but, um, in the chronological order of Star Wars, uh, last saw Obi-Wan, um, giving Luke to... Um, Baru and Owen, uh, and then he probably just began his adventure, you know, uh, there is comics about it of what he did, which are actually canon, um, and he probably just, you know, took care of anything he had to, of course, fighting Tusken Raiders, uh, doing anything he can, of course, going into cantinas, um, which you'll never find more, uh, scum or villainy in, uh, the, um, cities on Tatooine, uh, I guess they're cities, uh, so yeah, it would be really exciting, uh, I don't, I can't really think what the plot would be, uh, but of all Obi-Wan movies, um, people are probably all thinking it's probably Obi-Wan when he's on Tatooine, so that's probably what we'll be getting, but maybe it's not, but that's what I'm hoping it is, but, um, anyway, as we've seen in Star of the Clone Wars and Episode 1, uh, Obi-Wan defeated Maul. And we all know this, uh, if you're watching this video, I hope you guys know this, that Obi-Wan cut Darth Maul in half. Then they met again in Star Wars the Clone Wars. Star Wars the Clone Wars was never finished, so we didn't get to see what happened to Maul until Star Wars Rebels, um, where uh, Obi-Wan finally took care of him. Uh, so maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to see maybe the end of the movie um, as uh, Star Wars Theory. You sh guys should probably definitely go check out um, his channel. Very awesome videos. He made a video of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he mentioned this, that maybe we'll get to see Obi-Wan face off against Darth Maul. 
Uh, that I think that would be fantastic to how to end the movie. Maybe make like a uh, make the movie take place within a few weeks. Um, I don't know what the plot would be exactly though is why, but I'm sure they'll come up with something and then finally at the end of the movie it'll just pretty much be the scene from Star Wars Rebels but in real life, which I think would be fantastic. Uh, I, I'm not going to get my hopes up though, but that's just kind of a dream. That'd be just wonderful. So, but also maybe we'll be able to see a little bit of Darth Vader. I know he won't be fighting Obi-Wan because they did not fight uh, other than the last time they fought it was, you know, on Mustafar and that's where Anakin truly became Darth Vader. Um, and then the, after that, the last time they fought was in the New Hope. So maybe it will, like, have a little bit to do with him. Maybe it'll show him. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe him having a vision or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. I'm pretty much just saying random stuff right now about Darth Vader. But it would be pretty cool to see him in the movie in some way. Um, also could have a very young Luke, uh, maybe Obi-Wan watching over Luke as he does in a comic, uh, trying to, he's ready to train him, really eager to train him, and, uh, Uncle Owen does not allow it, so that would be fantastic, but all in all, super excited for this, um, like I said, it's not completely official, but might as well say it is. Since it's Star Wars, and you know they don't really let us down with Star Wars unless they go ahead and cancel a show that's got two more seasons to go, which is bullcrap. We're talking about Star Wars: The Clone Wars, um, and yeah, uh, this is one of the most of all Star Wars movies I was asked um, wanted to see. It would definitely be an Obi Wan movie if, I, and that includes Han Solo. Han Solo is my favorite. Star Wars character of all time, and I'd rather see an Obi-Wan movie, mainly because Harrison Ford can't play Han Solo young, unless we were to go back in time, or something, um, which is not going to happen, so, yeah, so that's the only thing that keeps me from wanting to see a Han Solo, uh, anthology film, or whatever, than a Obi-Wan, so, much rather see an Obi-Wan, so, that is pretty much all I have to say, um, well, there might be uh, some other things, uh, so I just, you know, very excited. Uh, besides this movie, I definitely would love to see, um, of course, uh, Boba Fett, which there's talks about, but um, that will probably most likely be a while. Uh, but, you know, they're going to keep us with Star Wars. Um, I think it was till 2030 is they have plans for Star Wars movies, and even past then um, is not what it... Uh, well, not what's been said, that it could be go past, like, Star Wars could be, um, making movies all the way up till 2040. That could be a possibility, but all that was said that I've seen and heard is up to 2030. So we'll be getting a movie definitely every year of Star Wars. Um, like, Rogue One was the last one made, now we're getting The Last Jedi. Um, and then we're gonna get Han Solo, and then we're gonna get Star Wars 9. And, um, maybe, maybe Obi-Wan after that. And then, uh, maybe that Boba Fett movie that there's been talk of. We might get, um, maybe a Yoda movie, which would be awesome. And most of all, of all Star Wars movies I could ever think of, um, which I would really, really love to be made, is a trilogy of the Old Republic. I think that would be fantastic. Um, you know, just put Revan in there and just all the characters from the video game. Um, but Disney has tried to say that that's not canon, and I don't know if that was like a joke or something, I don't know, I've just heard a lot about that, and it just, it's uh, very frustrating, um, which it is, it's definitely canon, um, and hopefully that will happen, um, sometime in the future, but we'll see what comes next for Star Wars, uh, so, yeah, um, like I said, don't get too excited for this, since it'll be probably a while, but... We won't really have our minds too much on it since we'll be focused on watching other movies, including Star Wars movies every year. You know, we got Avengers Infinity War coming out, many Marvel movies, um, Ash vs. Evil Dead on TV, that's f like for me, and Walking Dead, stuff like that. There's sh other shows and other movies coming out to get excited for, um, and then end up finally seeing one. Just like when I was going to watch Logan, um, 
I first, I never heard anything about it. Then when the trailer first dropped, I got super excited and I thought, oh man, it's going to take forever. And before I knew it, I was watching the movie in the movie theater. So, and it didn't even seem like that long. Um, it did when, every time I thought about it, but, you know, when I didn't, it seemed like it was just a few days. So, yep, really super excited for this movie, like I said many times, and cannot wait, but I'm going to have to, because that's what life is, just waiting. So, um, you guys have a fantastic day, like, comment, and subscribe, and may the force be with you, like I said, go check out, uh, Star Wars Theory, go subscribe to his channel, um, as well, uh, and check out his video of this, which is much better than mine, but I just wanted to give my thoughts on this and say a few things, so, yeah, so, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.